As you know, we cover anything Marvel Avengers here. Uh, Crystal Dynamics recently did a live stream just a couple days ago about the Black Panther War for Wakanda expansion. They showed some character art, they showed some outfits, and they showed some movement. So without further ado, we're going to review it. Let's go over it together. Let's see if it's a win or if it's an L. An outfit. Uh, here's a better look at it. It is based off of Casper Cole when he briefly took on the mantle of Black Panther, I think in the early 2000s in the, in the comics. Um, and he was, Casper Cole is not T'Challa. Uh, Casper Cole is his own character. He was an officer in New York and he actually stole this outfit and used it uh, for its protective purposes. Uh, but Casper Cole didn't initially have any uh, superhuman abilities. Uh, I think at some point he did end up getting them, but uh, event, but when he first started, he didn't have any abilities. So this is, I think, one of my favorites, honestly. Uh, so I personally like the most dangerous man outfit. I, hey man, he looks too bad. He looks really badass. I'm really enjoying it. I think this is a pretty good one. I think this is a W. So let's give them a one on this one. This is a complete W. Now let's go to the next outfit and let's see exactly what they have to show us. For more outfit right. reveals, let's do this. Uh, King T'Challa outfit is what I'm showing right now. This is, I think you, some people might have seen like glimpses of it in the past, but if you haven't, um, this is kind of, uh, and Brendan, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a Crystal Dynamics original design. I believe so, yes. Uh, yeah. Inspired, um, by many things, I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> inspired by many things. This is kind of how he would walk around if he wasn't in the Black Panther suit and one of the most important things to notice is his hands you can see you know when he needs to go into battle and everything he has rings that act as claws and they can detract extract I don't know what the right word is I personally think this one is actually really fucking tight I like the design uh, with the vest and the undershirt I think it's badass but I feel like they reuse the pants from the, the first one they mentioned but this is actually looking pretty good I mean, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Black Panther, so if they're going to do Black Panther right, then I'm going to be all aboard, and I'm going to be here for it, and like this outfit right here screams nothing but awesomeness, he is so sweaty, I'm loving it, looks like he's just going to walk out, not only is he going to kick crime, he's going to be stylish AFF, A-S-F! So this is called the, did I do it? I did, alright. This is called the Dem Demisa Sarki outfit, and the reason why we wanted to show this is because we saw a lot on socials and everywhere that people wanted a version of Black Panther with a cape. So he has a short cape in this outfit. Uh, this is also kind of inspired by Jack Kirby's first um, foray and sketches and drawings of how Black Panther first appeared in the comics all the way back in like 1966 or something. Um, so we wanted to really pay tribute to how Black Panther originally appeared and just his roots and everything. So this is a good one. Uh, I love the cape in this one. Um, Brendan, anything you want to say about this? The cape, man, the physics. No, <laughs> uh, I, when, uh, no uh, so this, this one uh, showcases uh, uh, a lot of what we did with the Iconic, which is our material system. Personally, I think this one is, uh, it's kind of just like too much for me. I don't like the scales. Uh, the cape is actually okay, but it's like a short ass cape. Like the his cape that he used to have, like the the one that referenced the Jack Kirby design, was pretty dope. This cape looks alright. I'm not really too much of a fan of this. I think it's way too much going on with all the different scales and the battle suit. I mean, I guess if you're into it, you're into it. If you're not, you're not. That's okay. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Everybody's not supposed to like every outfit in the game. That's what is going to give us variety of them. Uh, we still no word of the rework, but that's another video for another time for the cosmetic vendors. But this is uh, this is pretty decent, you know. It's pretty decent. I, I definitely, I'm not giving this one a W so far. It's two Ws and one L for me. But I actually can see why if you do like this and why you would want to give this a W. Did it appear? There we go. I think yes. it did. 
So this is a strategist outfit. This is inspired by the comics. This is, um, so there was a time in the comics uh, where Black Panther actually took on the mantle, or he didn't take on the mantle, but he uh, replaced or kind of, he, he did his thing as, as he replaced Daredevil as the man without fear in New York City to defend oh, New right. York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is based off of the time when he was doing uh, that. And T'Challa did not have powers during this. So he had to rely on his training, his strategy. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra gadgets. There's the armor plate. There's the extra things that he needs as just a normal, amazing human being uh, trying to defend New York from everyone. I think, oh god, I don't remember the villain in that. I think the Impaled some. So this one is actually pretty dope. I like the, the Daredevil inspired costume. Uh, the color scheme is a little inter interesting with the uh, kind of like green gold with the black, but it actually looks pretty dope. I uh, like the tactical gear. I like the way that it just seems with the body armor that, you know, he's going to war. He knows that. He knows he has to be smarter than the criminals that are out there in the streets. And without his powers, he would have had to been able to rely on his wits and his training. Like they mentioned before, I think this outfit is actually pretty cool. Not only did they go over the costumes, though, they actually also went over the uh, way that he's going to move. So I will also show you that too as well. All right, so this is his movement. We're going to look how he looks in game. This is his original costume. I'm actually a fan of this design. It kind of it looks aerodynamic. It, it looks like something you know, a stream athlete would wear. His, his body design looks nice. It's just dope. Uh, it really does look fantastic, and I think it's really awesome. They actually are going to explain more about it, so I'm going to stop talking here. I'm going to let them explain it, and we're going to watch it, and then uh, I'll come back and talk to you at the end of it. Basically, every, everything. Um, and it's not just uh, it's a clean slate, know. right? Like you, we yeah, haven't what? had anything to this. It's just this is how it basically is, right? Yeah. Um, but most importantly, you know, to get what we're seeing here, right? Animation takes its pass on uh, idle animations. Uh, rigging goes through and does their whole rigging pass on uh, you know getting the body to deform correctly. Uh, lighting uh, comes in and. It establishes all of our lighting for our validation unit. So it's even though you know we get to we get to show off like these cool models, it, it really it makes a huge difference to be able to 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 say thank you to everybody else who was able to get <laughs> this. Uh, so we you know we can be here and, and see these types of cool things. So it is mostly uh, a, a team effort, and this is kind of the accumulation of, of those efforts, Herculean efforts. So yeah, this is uh, this is kind of where we can come in and and uh, you know get up and close and see how I'm I'm just watching the Twitch stream here real quick to see where we're at. But um, one of the things that we that we did was um, you know we we design around a motif uh, and and for this particular one uh, triangles really was the the main shape motif um, and we we kind of took that and and did as many different uh, versions of of that motif as we could. Uh, and you can kind of see that pretty much uh, everywhere on him, uh, from the little jewels uh, to, you know, the little metal pieces to, to pretty much everything, you know, all the way down to, uh, to the feet. The other thing that we um, that we did was uh, we created a, a, a whole new base body for for T'Challa. Uh, that was that was kind of the, the the big first step was you know how do we visually define what uh, he looks like from uh, you know just a, a, a body shape compared to like Cap or to Thor even right as even if, you know Thor is really kind of big and muscular but. We wanted to go kind of big and muscular, uh, but on a on a different uh, style, right? Something that's kind of appropriate for um, uh, for what Black Panther is, right? So we really uh, we started there, and that's kind of the armature, as we say. Um, and that's what we build off of. So we really wanted to make sure that we nailed the physique, um, and then once once you do that, uh, then you know it's all it's all good from there. You know, you you can lots of lots of good stuff 
So, uh, we took the triangle motif, um, and we, we went even further. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this real quick. Pause. Right, so there you have it. BP is looking pretty good. He looks pretty nice. Uh, this is his base design. The costumes they have, they include with it. It actually looks really good as well. I'm really excited about it. I'm really happy uh, about this as well. I um, cannot wait. He's coming this month, so the expansion is coming out this month. It should be about a good 8 to 10 hours of content, something to look forward to. Uh, so if you are just getting back in the game, it's a good time to get into the game now. Because they're posting 26 hours of content all the way from the main campaign, which is kind of light work, but for, uh, for a game that's been out for over a year, it's kind of light work. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe this means that we're going to get continuous content every month. Maybe there's something to look forward to. Hopefully, that is the case. But this game, um, I'm really excited. I said I'm really excited for Black Panther. It was really good. I think they did a fantastic job here. And the only thing to know is what is, you know, what's actually going to be like when the game releases. What will be, be, be like, what will the story be like? That is what's going to make or break the results here for this content. That's how we'll know if it's going to be good or not. So, but, uh, if you like this video, you find this